I'm Isaac, and welcome to my guide to DMing. What is the DM, you ask? Why, the single most important being in role-playing, to whom even the gods pray for they have that they have not angered. Seriously, don't anger the DM, or your dice will be cursed for a thousand years. All jokes aside, the job of the DM is to control and build the world around the players. Doing so can be hard, but rewarding. To this end, a DM should know the ins and outs of players' characters. The DM should know the player character's ideals, personality, goals, as well as the mechanics. This may seem to be hard, but, why I re but that's why I recommend you can make notes of such things each session as you go. These notes will help you keep track of the player's characters, making building the world around them a lot easier. On the note of world building, I recommend for new DMs to use modules. They are a little more set and can be a bit railroady. But most of the work of NPC names, settings, and encounters are already handled. Plus, you can change things a little if you want to match your own party playstyle. Trust me, I know. I'm running Curse of Strahd with a GMGWG. Horror setting with NPCs with player characters that could not be better termed as a troop of clowns. I say that in the most loving way, guys. I know you're watching. I know it's tempting to build a whole new world, but... If you're not accustomed to D&D &D, &D or DMing, it can be a disaster. Trust me, I've done that. Don't. However, it goes without saying that you will want to have three core books. Player's Handbook, the Dungeon Master's Guide, and the all-important Monster Manual. Sure, you could bootleg PDF these books, but I find it easier to just buy the damn books and use it. Besides which, if you play at a mom-and-pop local gaming store, such as Crestview's own Game Master's Guild, I recommend you buy the books and throw them a few shekels for giving you a loving place to nerd. Once you get a hang of DMing the base game, you can start adding supplements, books like Xanathar's Guide to Everything, and more. I also recommend a D buying a DM screen. They're not just handy for hiding your rolls and trying to DM cheat, but they're a great way for having a quick cheat sheet in terms of status. And, of course, if you're running a module and you have the module-specific DM sheet, you can actually get characters, important NPCs, encounters, all kinds of stuff that's really helpful for helping you run the game without having to flip through the book constantly to try and find where you're going. When it comes to your players, treat them right, and they'll be treated like king at the table. However, act like a tyrant, and you won't be DMing long. Find a balance. Be fair but firm, and don't go over the top. Learn to rule the cool things at times to let your players enjoy the game. If you have difficult players, talk it over with them, calmly and respectfully. You'll get whiners who want everything at times. For this, you'll have to put on your mom or dad pants. To <laughs> and firmly but calmly explain things to them. It's never good to blow up on your players, and it's not good for you either. Stress can definitely kill you. So, if you need to call a break, find a good stopping point in the campaign or module you're running and do so. If the party is having trouble staying a track, a DM avatar character is a good idea. Your DM avatar shouldn't be someone that is directly involved in everything the party does. More like a super helpful magic shop owner. Like my own DM friend, Travis's Fast Daddy. Someone who can give the party helpful clues on what to do next, items they may want. Or who can advise them on who they should talk to if they get stumped on a particular part of a quest. Who knows? DM avatars can be really fun, too, so... Well, if you do make a DM avatar, be sure to make fun with it. Throw in a few cool references that you think your party will actually get, and, you know, be fun with the DM character. Don't make him just some um, railroad machine that makes your party absolutely hate this character. If you have to use them for railroading, make it fun. Make it, like, a jest. But anyway, I hope these tips help you guys. These are my DM tips. And I hope you enjoyed the video and catch you next either on one of my many Let's Plays on or another Isaac and the Lich tabletop story. Fail thee well, good internet traveler. Until then, farewell. Goodbye.